by now you've probably seen the news about what I did and or said. I just want to take this opportunity to say I'm sorry to the community that I hurt. Boom. Um, what I said and or did was not intended to cause harm, but it did. I have since spoken with the members of Insert Community here. Yeah, we're just gonna dub all that in later. Keep going, please. And they have highlighted the errors in my ways. I'm so sorry. End of video. Fab, you, less. Okay, great. Um, so now that covers what? Race, sexuality, gender. Fuck it, we can even make religion work with that one. Oh my god. Mm hmm. I'm sorry, what are these four? You're a social media star, baby. You're getting canceled. And the fact that you're a straight white guy, I mean, you should be expecting a cancellation attempt every what? Like 10 months? That one, that one. Oh, uh, no, reverse it. Yeah. So we're just gonna block shoot all your apologies, okay? And then anytime someone tries to take you down, we'll just have something to give them right away. Um, okay. Tear. Pick it up! I sincerely apologize to the Star Wars fan base, to the Star Trek fan base, to the Starbucks fan base. Uh, I'm sorry for ordering a hot drink in late July. Sorry for setting fire to that trash can. For stealing that police car. For stealing and then subsequently lighting fire to that police car. Sorry to igloo inhabitants. Anyone who talks like this. Not making my profile picture the Black Lives Matter Square. For making my profile the Black Lives Matter Square. I'm sorry for negotiating with terrorists. Sorry for calling those kids sick as hell. I didn't realize they were terminal. What? When, when would I ever be in that position? I don't know. I don't know, but I mean, it's better to be prepared if you were, right? No, no, I don't think I should have to apologize for everything. I mean, I'm human. I'm gonna make mistakes. Okay, you guys all hear that? He's talking back to me now. Okay, great. Um, so I guess Mr. High and Mighty's too good to apologize every now and again. We got it, guys. I'm not needed, I guess. No. I just think making an online apology video often just makes things worse. Ouch. All you're doing is opening yourself up to more scrutiny and criticism from the public who love to scrutinize and criticize. It's dumb. People who make online apology videos are stupid. I'd like to apologize to the people who make online apology videos. My hair blows up when I'm alone. Inside out, I might explode. When I'm down, when I'm down. I'm sorry, I know what reverse psychology is. I just don't think that telling kids to do drugs will make them stop. Okay, that's not nice. See you at home, sweetie. Uh, Next. <clears throat> Here to talk about a book that don't belong in our school. Okay, again, we've discussed this, and one more time, Huckleberry Finn is not a gay book. Even if it was... Hold on, hold on. I ain't here to talk about banning some LGBTQ book. I'm here to talk about the spread of misinformation. Uh, and what book do you believe is spreading misinformation? Buggy Mike and the Rudy Tootie Bug Band. What is Buggy Mike and the Rudy Tootie Bug Band? You've never read it? It's awesome. It's about this group of bugs who, who form a band and they travel the world. Okay, it sounds like you love this book. Oh, I do, I do. But facts don't care about your feelings. I, I don't think it's misinformation if uh, some bugs in a children's book uh, play in a band. <laughs> no, no, I, I don't got a problem with that part. Bugs can play in bands. All right, 
I've seen it. We've all seen it. What they can't do is play brass instruments. Want to know why? No, I don't. And we do need to move on, but I will put this in my notes for next year's library. <laughs> why? Damn it, Carl. Because they don't got no lungs. I mean, how in the hell is Benny the Beatle supposed to play the trumpet with no lungs? He's got no lungs, yet he can play a trumpet solo after overcoming his fear of stage fright and the Rudy Tootie Bug Band take on the county fair? Took me out of the whole damn story. It's a good point. I rest my case. Hey, again, everyone, this is not a courtroom. It's bullshit. Overruled! Okay, nope. <laughs> I did it now. All right, guys, this is just gonna be a calm, chill <laughs> community meeting. If you think I'm gonna sit here and listen to this nonsense. Here we go. You got another thing coming. Listen, just because bugs don't have lungs doesn't mean they can't play the horns. Benny still has a diaphragm he can push air through. Oh, we don't got no lips. Hey, you ever seen someone play Trump with no lips, Carl? He heck no! You're wrong, it's a beetle. I mean, it's a beetle. Beetles have lips. It's called labium. Carl, I've, uh... Well, why don't you let your beam down shut up? Uh-oh! <laughs> Sustained! No, Carl. No. No. No, Carl. Maybe I'll let you down. Yeah? Tuck in. What, you gonna read me bedtime story? Yeah, I'm gonna kiss you on the head. Okay, whisper sweet nothings in my ear? Kiss you in the mouth. How long? Carl? Yeah. Jesus, no, not yeah. All I'm trying to do is save lives. Okay, technically, the labium is just the bottom part of the lip. So, oh my okay. fucking God. Benny can't play. <laughs> what, do you, what do you know? What are you, a bug doctor? I mean, what are we doing here? Actually, yes. I am a bug doctor. Women can be bug doctors too. Fuck! See, when the book shouldn't be banned, though. It should be you banned. haven't even read it. He is the leader. The bug doctor is the real thing. He is the leader. What have I done? In an effort to stop the chaos, I've caused it. I set out to save the world, but all I did was ensure its destruction. Must do what has to be done. And so then, like, he full on falls over, and then our day at the beach is, like, completely ruined. <laughs> and I just, you know, I get the ick. <laughs> and I feel bad, but, like, I just couldn't let it go. Girl, you are so real for that. Like, men should not be walking on sand. Right? It's like, men used to go to war. And now he's kind of like, oh, I'm uneven on sand. So true. Mm -hmm. Literally normal. so true. Okay, okay. My my ick is when a guy like has like a really weird laugh. Oh, you know what I mean? The like, worst. Yeah. I was on a date with this guy and I was like saying like a funny story or whatever, and then all of a sudden he's like, <gasps> ick, dude, leave the date. Right? <laughs> oh my so god. Bad. Or like if you get into the Uber and he's like, Thanks, boss. Like, why? Why do guys why do, do that? Do that? Hey. Who's the boss? They're, you're actually hiring them, so you're the boss. And when a guy wears no-show socks? Oh, dude. Ick. No. If you're a man, Ick. don't show us your ankles. It's so unnecessary. Ugh. No, seriously, like, it is so easy for me to get the ick. It's, like, honestly crazy. Like, okay, I think my biggest ick with my boyfriend okay. is when he cherishes me. Wait, Kayla what? Oh my God, it's so cringe. Like, it's disgusting. He will literally be like, you're so beautiful. I glow when I'm around you. Like, ew, dude, could you not glow when you're around me? That's an ick. <laughs> right, girls? Like, ick. It, it kind of just sounds like you don't really like your boyfriend. 
what? No, that's literally not it at all. It's just one of those things, you know what I mean? Like it just makes my whole body cringe. Like, like I just wish my skin would fall off my body and just like leave my bones behind because I'm cringing so hard, you know what I mean? Like, okay, he will literally be like, this has been the best four years of my life. Oh, from the day that I met you, I have spent every second, every minute trying to be a better man than the broken shell I once was. You saved me every day. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Like, ew, dude. Like, stop, dude. Like, you're icking me, you know? Like, ick. Wait, Kayla. You've been dating this guy for four years? Yeah, dude, it's been rough. Why is this like the first time that we're hearing about him? <laughs> Kayla, we're all talking about like the icks you get when you go on first dates with like yeah. random guys from Hinge. But I feel like this guy, you know, he like loves you in a deeply profound way. No, I think it's an ick, you know, like I think it's just like an ick, like it just makes me crazy, like, okay, it's like, it's like you're like walking on sand thing, like we all were like, ew, ick, you know, like, who wants to see a guy walk on sand? Who wants to hear from a guy that they adore and value you, not only as a lover, but as a intellectual equal? Like, where is this guy getting this, ick? I do. That's, I would love to hear someone say that to me. That's like literally all I want. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you just have to like experience it firsthand because he will literally, literally be like, you are the love of my life. But even more than that, you are my best friend. You make me feel seen in a way that I've never experienced before. And baby, it is an honor to say that I see you right back. And the view, oh man, the view, it's beautiful. Kayla, Cherise Taylor, will you make me the happiest man on earth and marry me? Like, uh, no, I won't, dude, get up, ew. <laughs> it's so gross. Kayla, wait, he proposed to you? Yeah. Why is this like the first time that we're hearing about this? Because it gave me the ick. Are you not listening to anything I'm saying? <laughs> That's not an ick. I think you just have attachment issues. Oh, yeah, I don't think that. Oh, let's see who's calling. Oh, it's Mr. Takes My Mom Out to Lunch Every Day. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hey, baby. I uh, just called to say I love you. Okay, you know what? Yay! I hear it. I hear it. I love you. Oh, you have to hear it. Oh, I would yes. rather watch a guy walk on sand. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, hello? Babe. Babe. Hey. Uh, sorry about that, Cass. We can we can start now. <clears throat> Guess who's singing? I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. There was something so pleasant about that place. Even your emotions have an echo in so much space. This is the right one. I mean, it looks like Dan's been here. I, I feel like the guy's been going through a hard time since the whole break. <gasps> <up. gasps> oh, you guys are all right. All right, man. You guys ready for this or what, man? How you doing? All right, hey. man. Why don't y'all come on in? All right. all right, let's do it. Check it out, man. <laughs> Told you guys you were gonna Sweet. love it. Got a TV. <laughs> TV is preloaded with all our favorite movies, Fifty Shades of Grey. Wait, wasn't there a couch here? Couch? There's no couch. All right, I for sure saw one on the listing. Oh, on the listing. Nah. Maybe get your eyes checked. Four eyes. There was never a couch in this entire house. 
No, there definitely was one because that's what I was gonna crash on. Oh, well, probably just saw AI or something, or like the lighting on these new systems are just crazy. The owners are Swedish. It's a minimalist culture. They don't have couches. They sit on the floor. They eat on the floor. It's all that way, dude. Where did you learn that? On the town, everywhere they go. There's a hot tub. That doesn't explain it. Come on, let's check it out. There's the dents. You're gonna love it. That's a throw pillow for a cow. This looks great. This should be our first activity. Water's perfect. Uh, what? What's this? What the heck? What the crap? No clothes allowed? Looks like we're gonna have to take all of our clothes off to even get in. I'm, I'm sure we could keep our shorts on. I know, on. I was yeah, thinking, man. I was thinking, man, I wish I could keep my clothes on, but I can't. Because the Airbnb is under my name, so if we break any of the rules, it's gonna come back on me. I can't have that. I don't think Airbnb would do I that. I just can't no. have that, man. Hey, we're whoa, gonna have to. Let's, let's, let's just, uh, you know, maybe put our bags down, check out the rooms first. Yeah. 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 Keep your pants on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, but we're pro probably gonna have to come on over back over here, you guys. Dan! Y'all are gonna love this completely safe drink. Hey, Dan, where are the beds? My bed, there's no bed in my room. Dude, I found a steam room, drink up. Yeah, but guys, there's no beds in the rooms. Yeah, but there's a steam room. But the beds, where are the fucking beds? Check it out. What the heck, this was just in here. The towels are missing? There's only one long silk sheet big enough for the four of us to stand in a line, lather ourselves head to toe in these occluded essential oils and fold into each other belly to belly? Things are getting strange, man. I mean, the Vikings used to do this stuff all the time, so it's not like that weird. When in Rome, right? Wait, wait, this was done by the Vikings or the Romans? It doesn't matter. We're not in college anymore, you freaking nerd. Hey. Uh None of the bedrooms seem to have any mattresses. It's like they were all moved. I'm just saying that the, we would be a, a waste if we didn't use this place at least like five or six times while we're here. Where are the beds? Oh, there's a bed. Dude, there's a bed. Come on, I'll show you the beds. Right. Check this out, you're gonna love this. The listing says four bedroom, but only one big bed, big enough to host you and your best friends, perfect for snuggle fights and tickling. I mean... It said all that. Yeah. Let me see that. Oh, fuck! Oh, my phone! What the hell, bro? I guess my hands are still slippery from the essential oils earlier. Feel. Ugh, no! All right, there's got to be more beds. Let's go, the garage. No. Yes. Let's go, come on. No, no, dude, there's not. Go, 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 go. No, no, no. Guys, I really feel like we should listen to the house rules. Again, get out the way, if bro. If we don't listen to the rules of the Airbnb and I get kicked out, it's going to suck for me. Remember last time when we got me kicked off of the Uber because somebody threw up in the back? Dan, that was you. Dan, that was you. That's what you sound like. You sound like that. Would you? I don't wear glasses. Look, y'all know how hard it's been on me since Jan left. Those hugs we shared outside was the first skin-to-skin -skin contact I've had in four months. What? I thought you guys broke up like two weeks ago. Uh, I just thought maybe, just maybe, this weekend, I could just hang out with the boys, vibe. It's like every time we hang out, it's always football, NASCAR. Whatever happened to a good old fashioned slumber party? Braiding hair, face masks, foot massages that just don't stop. Getting in a cocktail jacuzzi together. I'm just gonna say it. Nowadays, men are so deprived of intimacy because of what they saw on a podcast or what it might look like on social media if everyone found out I was nipple to nipple with my best friend in the steam room. It's toxic. Dude, it's my bachelor party. I, I'm sorry if I don't want to be nipple to nipple with my boys in the steam room. Apology accepted, that means a lot. I just thought maybe this weekend we could forget about all those social norms for just a second, just hang. But I guess I was wrong. I guess I'm just some dumb idiot, like John. Guys. Maybe Dan's right. Matt, think about it. I mean, 
It's not gonna be too long until you're locked down forever. Chanice. Chanice, but yeah. Yeah, sure. And John, Delilah, like, you're gonna be engaged with her in no time. It's Delilah. Okay, whatever you say, man. I mean, think about it. This might be our last days together. Last days. One last weekend to chill with the boys. The boys are in town. For all time's sake. Boys are in town. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah! Boys, I gotta admit, Cockside Kizzy is pretty dope. Yeah, yeah that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Oh, and there's just one more thing I want to show you guys. Best trip ever. What, oh, my God. God. what the? Oh my gosh, man. Really? Let's get the most of this cleaning fam, all right? I get lost in and out when you walk in and out. Get my hair in and out. I get